Hey guys, it's Postbox Part and welcome back to a new video and today was Minecraft Earth the event and there's been some amazing news which has come out from this, absolute tons of news and I could actually bring out a several videos relating to this and I am going to be doing that over the next few days but for now I want to start on the main topic of Minecraft Earth, the mob. So the mob, what was the mob and what was happening? So if you didn't know there were four mobs to pick from and most of you probably already knew this and you could vote via Twitter, each vote was getting around 2,000 votes even though the stream had 43,000 people watching. Very surprising, but something I did notice and it's something I wanted to pick up on. Now, many of you guys, well, obviously voted because many of you have Twitter and a lot of you are contacting me, which is 2,000 of you, which is kind of a lot, but it's not really for the size of Minecraft. And it's something which I do worry about. The entire tweet itself actually turned out to have hardly anyone voting at all. And really, there wasn't enough thought put into it, and it was very quickly done. But I don't want to rant too much about this. Let's just talk about the mob for now, and we'll go back onto that in a moment. So the mob that has been selected is Mob B, which is the flying mob. It's a really cool mob, and it's the monster of the night skies. It's not the one I personally voted for. I voted for C, but Mob B, it's like my second favorite. It's pretty cool, but I just didn't think there was need for it, because all it does so far from what we've gathered from the actual developers of Minecraft, all they've said is it actually just flies down and just kills you if you don't sleep and that's all we know that it does so personally it just really didn't seem necessary and it just feel like it'll definitely make the game a lot more annoying rather than actually being there for a purpose and you won't be able to grind this mob or anything it'll just simply be flying around the sky waiting for you not to go to sleep and then attack you very annoying it only attacks you apparently if you haven't slept for several days but that's the way it's going to be now there's several things that i can go over that i'm going to pick out on the stream relating this sort of topic and then the other topics i'm going to cover in another video so if you're interested in that stay tuned for them videos because they'll be coming out soon as well so there's a variety of stuff which happened now as you can see on screen right now i have a tweet or the final mode the voting tweet the final one and here it is on screen right now so two mobs were decided and here is the vote as you can see we have 2229 votes on this which is quite low and it had 7,000 likes so in all honesty there was hardly any people hardly anyone voting this, the percentage of people voting is absolutely terrible compared to the stream. We had 40,000 people watching it and we only had 2,000 people voting, which is absolutely crazy. That is ridiculous. The amount of people who actually voted, it's just hardly anyone. It's 2 in 20, no, 2 in 40 people voted uh, on the stream. So that is absolutely crazy or 1 in 20 people voted. So that is kind of crazy and it's something that really... It just really gets me a little bit. It's 5% of people who watch the stream actually voted. And obviously that's not the entire Minecraft population at all. So 2,200 people for the final vote really isn't very good. Another thing I'd like to notice as well is I actually tweeted out this. The final mob was roughly, using my maths at the time, was actually decided by 44 votes. B actually beat C roughly, using the percentages that it showed on screen, beat C by 44%, or not 44%, by 44 people. So 44 people is what made this decision happen over C. And that's what kind of gets me a little bit. We have all this hype for the new mobs, but really only 2,000 people. I was one of them. And I use several accounts as well. I will admit that I use my other account as well, my real life account, which I don't use anymore, but I managed to get on it and vote it. So I voted twice. So really, honestly, there was probably not even 2,000 people voting. People probably voted twice. So it's kind of a little bit of a letdown and something I do worry about because many people out there didn't get their say. Only 2,000 people out of the 1.6 million that follow Minecraft on Twitter got their say so it's something to consider and it really doesn't show a good proportion of what people actually wanted in the game and it is kind of annoying so another thing that you can look at as well is the other votes as well the previous vote to that with the free mobs got 4697 sorry for the delay there <laughs> i was just reading out the numbers and also the delay on the or the amount of people on the first vote was only 2680 so I don't understand why the population was different on the second vote than it was the first and the third, but there was a clear increase in population for the second vote and then back down to the on the third vote, on the final vote, the population dropped again back to 2,000. I don't know what was going on there. Maybe something was going on in the stream that was putting people off at the time, but we can clearly see a huge difference in the votes. I do remember the second one was longer on their kind of Twitter. They had a lot longer break in between, kind of, but 
I suppose the last one as well, he also had a big break for it. I'm just surprised it didn't get that many votes or in general. So I do worry about it in that sense. And we also saw in the stream them actually talking about, I'm not going to put most of this on screen because it's hard for me to go and find it. I can't remember where it was, but I do remember them saying, why aren't we releasing all four? And basically they said they couldn't be bothered doing it. And that was during the actual stream. The way the guy turned it around, he was like, well, let's forget about all that and let's just get on with the voting. He was like that and everyone was just like, whoa, but really? You could have put all four in. Now, another thing that I have looked now, I actually stopped recording this video for 40 minutes and searched the entire Twitter. Now, either I'm having a crazy dream at night or this tweet has been deleted. Basically, Aubrey Norris, the developer or one of the developers who work at the Bedrock Edition, I do remember her tweeting out something about Minecon or about the mobs having something to do with they all. I remember, this is how I think it went. Now, I can't find the tweet. I've just looked for 40 minutes. It may be there and I just may be completely missing it. But I remember her tweeting out something like this. Yo, guys, we've been... <laughs> this is what I am remember anyway. Something like this. Guys, we've been working on all of the mobs for some time now and they're all running in the game it's up to you guys which one you want pick your favorite one it was something like that basically saying how all the mobs have already been developed in the game and they are available for you guys to vote to pick which one and the ones that aren't are going to get taken out that's what i kind of kind of got with the tweet it wasn't exactly like that but it was something like that on her twitter and i think she's been probably told to remove it because obviously they don't want people thinking that all the mobs have been developed which most likely they have because even during the stream they did say they went they said oh you know what we can get someone's going to create this on a mod tomorrow so obviously people can develop these mobs ridiculously fast and there's no problem with developing the mobs there but honestly it does annoy me when people delete tweets like that because i remember even screenshotting it on my phone but it's not there i don't i don't know Either I'm having a crazy dream or this is just something that is just there, but it got deleted. I don't know. But I do remember seeing something on her Twitter. I remember seeing it in my notifications because I have my notifications on for her Twitter. So I do remember seeing something like that. And I'm pretty sure I did see it. And it came up saying that she had tweeted about it and said, all the mobs have been developed. Uh, get ready to pick your favorite mob or something like that. Basically saying they've already been made or they are able easily to get in the game something like that along them lines it kind of annoyed me that i can't find a tweet and i wish i did screenshot it but i didn't so i, I completely forgot at the time so i it was really late at night when i saw it it was like three in the morning or something ridiculous so obviously i must have just either like fell asleep or was doing something else i don't know i just completely forgot and it's kind of annoying but i Either I'm daydreaming or it is there. But let's move on from that and talk a little bit else about the idea of having all four mobs in. Basically, at Minecon Earth, we had announced we got all the four mobs got told we got told about, and the way it ended was with mob B. The idea of actually having a fair choice of it wasn't there at all. 44 people is ridiculous. Having over it's just not not good at all for a game that size. It should be into the least probably 10, 30, 30,000 people voting. That's how many people should really be voting, but unfortunately not. But anyway, yes, that mob got added into the game. We had all the new mobs confirmed or basically told us what they were. And uh, at the end, they did like a little screenshot, the thumbnail for this video, and it already had color and everything. So clearly all the other mobs had this done for them as well. So all the other mobs were there in the game, or I believe they were from that tweet that's not actually on screen because I couldn't find it, but I remember seeing it. And it's just kind of frustrating. Obviously this video is not gonna get too many views, so it's not gonna bring up a huge uproar in the community, but it's just something I wanna say. I do wanna thank Mojang though for actually adding me on their stream. I was actually on their stream for about four to two seconds, probably about two seconds, and I will be making a separate video on that definitely i did find that extremely funny and i am happy to actually be on the stream for mojang there on that side of stuff it was pretty cool to get a video on the stream but it was a video which i never expected to even get anywhere but apparently something about pirates made it on the stream but i will be making a separate video on that because it was quite funny but yeah i hope you guys have enjoyed this video again I want to know your opinions on this. Did you really want Mob B after I've told you exactly what it does? Uh, I know it's cool having a flying one. And I know that's probably why it got picked because it was a flying mob. But really, we don't need a flying mob in the overworld. Uh, it's just not really required at all. And you could have had a flying mob where you can actually ride or something later on at a later date which could have been a lot better in the overworld. So it is frustrating and it's just the way it is, unfortunately, with the idea of the population stuff that really does get to my head. And honestly, it was a really good stream. I did actually enjoy it a lot. 
I did like the way they employed someone to co-host with them. That was very clever and it kept the stream a lot more interesting rather than listening to Lydia consistently. I think it definitely did help the way they employed someone who was actually quite good live and they had a little bit of humor and obviously some of it, a lot of it was staged, but some of the stuff wasn't staged and I think that's what made it pretty good. There was obviously, it was a YouTube live stream. I could tell there was mistakes in it and stuff there and then, for example, when Jeb was talking about the new update, which I'm going to be covering in a new video, the next update, the Aqua update, the underwater stuff. So I will be covering that in another video. I'm not going to do that right now. I just want to talk about the mob thing first because that's what's really on my mind. And there was actually a mistake there where you could see him actually saying, should we talk about it when the trailer was playing and Jeb was like, no, no, let's be quiet for the trailer. Basically that. It wasn't major, but you could just teach little mistakes like that. But yeah, hope you guys have enjoyed this video. You can see how I'm a little bit frustrated and uh, it does get on me a little bit, but honestly, I can't do much about it and neither can you really. So we've kind of got to a situation where we have to accept we've got mob B. That tweet, if you guys can find it, I'd be very amazed. I've looked for it for a very long time. I don't know what happened to it. I don't know. But I hope you guys have enjoyed this video. Don't forget to leave a like, comment, subscribe. Stay tuned for some more Minecraft content news. And once again, this is Postbots Pat, signing out.